So I want to take this time to talk about a Persona game that has consistently been this beloved entry and red-headed stepchild of the franchise, and that is Persona 4 Arena. This is a game that, by all accounts, I will see a lot of people in the fandom gush about because its story is so good, it's canon to Persona 4, Labyrinth is a good character, the time skip inclusion of C's is fantastic, and its focus around Adachi is some of the best story you could give to a character like that. I generally agree. And once in a while, online, I will see this game come up. In the past, I've seen people crying out for a Persona 5 fighting game. And then the announcement of Arena Ultimax coming to Steam. Like, a lot of people I saw in the fandom were so excited. They wanted this game to come up so badly. Now, I never played this game because originally it was on 360 when I was a PS3 kid. But when I heard about this, I pre-ordered it because from the sounds of it, it was to Persona what Dengeki Bunko was to the anime FGC from my perspective. Now I have owned it and since it released on Steam and that was like what, 2020 or 2021 or so. And in that time, I have not once been asked nor have I seen in the several communities revolved around Persona, the FGC or both that I'm in, I have not seen this game making the rounds. Brought up? Yes. Praised? Yes. Actually put on for a session or two? In the last two to three years, I have seen nothing happen, and I do mean nothing. And this is coming from a cross tag player. Th this game, I just see nothing regarding actually playing this game. Which isn't anything special, right? Like, this happens a lot in the FGC when you're not one of the big three, that being Tekken, Street Fighter, and Mortal Kombat. There's a lot of other popular titles, but among them all, I think those three since the 2000s have been the three pillars of the FGC. And you go down the list and you get more games that are still good, just not as popular, like Dragon Ball Fighters or Marvel vs. Capcom, so on and so forth. And anime fighting games have this ongoing history of the games being big, the first maybe three months or so, they die down in popularity afterwards, only spike if they have a big announcement but i will say unless you can find that niche crowd that has this circle full of people who play this constantly yeah this game is from my perspective honestly kind of dead on that end so why do i think that why this game specifically and honestly thinking about it i think it comes back to essentially how this whole thing started and that is the persona fandom talking about it because people in the fandom love bringing this game up and praising it. Anytime Persona 4 comes up, Arena is almost certainly a talking point regarding the entry. And that's the problem, I feel like. And that's not to put down the community on both sides, because I'll hear this as well from the fandom, that people who like Persona don't really play because it's a fighting game, which is fair. If you're asking JRPG fans to play a fighting game. But again, even the FGC, I am not seeing that many people really bring this up, let alone actually play it. And even then, you've got big names in the FGC like Maximilian Dude who've said they just can't really get into it pretty much. I'm not hating it, just not really their game. One of the things that was intriguing about this game was the, uh, the way it looked to me at first, and that a lot of people seem to be very interested in it. I'm not that much into the whole style of gameplay system for Arc System games. I'm, I've tried Blaze Blue very briefly some time ago in the past. I'm just not very much a fan of that style of system. Uh, the last big game of theirs that I played was probably Guilty Gear Double X, uh, way back in the day on PlayStation 2. And I enjoyed that game, uh, but I feel like I, even after that, when Guilty Gear Accent Core coming out, and I grabbed that game as well, and I just felt like I was kind of done with this style of game, and I didn't enjoy it but very much. By that time, I had already made the conversion over to games like Street Fighter 3 Third Strike and Capcom vs. SNK2. This is around like the mid-2000s or so. And uh, and I didn't really feel the need to play any more Guilty Gear. I just didn't, I, I thought in comparison, the style of these Capcom games, actually, I enjoyed 
a lot more, as well as the characters and things like that, and that definitely did translate over to Persona 4 Arena. Persona 4 Arena uh, captivated me at first because of so many people interested in it, and I want to provide at least something for folks to get into the game at least, but the more I played it, the more it seemed like this game is very tailored to people that love Persona, people that, like, love Persona 3 on PlayStation and stuff like that, while the only Persona game that I found any enjoyment from, or even played for that matter, was the original Persona on PlayStation, uh, PlayStation 1. That's what I've seen. The FGC mostly just being th here or there on it, not really interested, and the notion that it was more for fans of Persona. And Persona fans on the flip side saying that this is a game for the FGC. So, sitting on it for a long time, and thinking about it until now, even talking to friends I know who are on both sides of the conversations, here's what I figure, and most likely, here's why I think the chances of Arc System Works coming back for another Persona fighting game spinoff are slim to none at best. I think this game was made for specifically Persona fans who are fighting game players. People like me, essentially, because I like both. But realistically, that number of people is not going to be on the same level of success as a game directed to JRPG fans or a game directed to the FGC. And even then, right? The main drawback in why I think this game kind of shot itself in the foot is that by all accounts, the story and characters, this is banking on Persona fans both knowing and wanting this. Because if you don't know Persona 4, or even Persona 3 for that matter, and you go into this, so much of this must be so goddamn confusing. Now, to be fair, games like Crosstag had this problem as well, because that story mode essentially was relying on people being fans of several different series. But even then, it still did numbers for the first year it released, and during the pandemic, I remember lobbies being crowded with people who dropped this game coming back, and newcomers. And Crosstech was on a similar vibe to Smash Bros, in that being, there's a lot of characters from different series, not everybody's gonna know them all. P4 Arena? I mean, you gotta know P4 at least to keep up with the game. A game catered to JRPG fans with gameplay targeting the fighting game community. That's ultimately such a niche audience that yeah, saying it out loud makes a lot more sense why the game is a talking point instead of a game that people want to play more of. And that's not saying that it's a shit game by any means. I've tried it out, and it's a competent anime fighter with Arxis quality development, no doubt about that. Hell, if it weren't for the ties to the Persona story and how they were done, I think the game would probably have more playability. And yeah, look, I'm expecting people to go, well, what about Dragon Ball games like Fighters or the Naruto Storm games or even Jump Force? Aren't they the same deal? And okay, Jump Force, that's absolutely fair. That game is just spoiler the fighting game. But Fighters and Storm? I mean, yeah, Dragon Ball already was a series around martial arts and fighting and anime beam struggles. Yeah, it's no wonder why that game lasted for as long as it has IP-wise. You're targeting an audience that wants to relive and be immersed in those fights from the days of the Linkin Park AMV YouTube. And the Storm games, I mean, they just do what almost every anime tie-in game does and retell the original story. It's honestly a shame. Persona 4 Arena could have been a decent spin-off series handled more with the understanding that people didn't actually play Persona 4, or something along those lines at least. It's no wonder why when it came to Persona 5, Strikers ended up being a better route for a canon sequel. Despite Koei Tecmo's gameplay, that game still at its heart has a lot of the aspects Persona 5 fans loved about their game, and so it being targeted more towards Persona fans, I think worked a lot better. And hey, if Persona 6, whenever it wants to come out, gets the same treatment with a Koei Tecmo collab game, that honestly just might confirm why P4 Arena is, on both sides from the conversation on my perspective, just a game that people talk about but not really play. Yeah, I don't really think there's anyone here to blame for this. It's not really a, this is your fault for not playing the game, you need to fix that. No. Atlas just tried something new with the franchise, and it just didn't work out. That company a lot of times likes to experiment with their games and stories from what I can tell. This one, just not... 
Well, it didn't flop, I think, but it didn't perform as well as it could have been in the long run, and which is kind of par for the course. I don't know. Maybe we'll get an Arxis-style Persona fighting game down the line that retells the stories from Persona 1 to the current entry, or something like that, but a big emphasis on the maybe. All in all, yeah. Persona 4 Arena, from what I can tell, is a good conversation to have, but it's not really a game people really want to play, though. But what do you think? <laughs>